Right, this review has been a long time in the waiting. It's finally going to be the review of Cidermeister's Clouty Dumpling Stout. The reason it took so long to get this review up was because I wanted to actually make a Clouty Dumpling and have that on camera, taste a bit of that and taste the, uh, the stout as well. So yesterday my wife set about making it. Um, we got all the ingredients, put it in the, the clute which is like the, the muslin-y type bag or cloth, drew it together, put it on the uh, the stove top with a, a plate, we didn't have like a trip or anything um, and it was cooking for like three and a half hours, it's like the longest cake or like cooking thing that I think I've ever made or she's ever made, I didn't really get my hands dirty at all, she kind of, she's the, she's the baker of the house, I'm the brewer and um, it did kind of, I have to admit, the, I think it was the top or, no, the bottom where it was on the plate, it kind of got like a little bit burnt, not not majorly, but there was like a little bit of a, almost uh, quite crispy bit on the bottom, but once flipped over, it was uh, it was good. I don't know whether I should have had more water in there, so I, I looked at some other recipes online, and some said that you should be covering sort of almost to the top of the the dumpling and others said it was, should have been below and I don't know. But anyway it shrunk a little bit and that's how it came. No I'm only joking this I've just cut a bit off. Um our one came out sort of about that size quite dumpy. Cidermeister's one was huge compared to the one that we had come out. I tried a bit last night. Um so I've got the taste of what the, the, the dumpling's like but I'm gonna um have the stout first if I have the cake and then the stout I won't know if the you know it's in the in the stout itself, so I'm going to try the stout first. And because I've already got, you know, know what the the, uh, the dumpling itself was like last night, I can I can compare. I've got a plain glass ready, just purely because I probably should have got a cloth ready as well. I don't know. Um, I have bad experiences with carbonation in stouts, and that I'm I'm hoping it's going to be okay. We will give it a go. Looking good. It must just be me. I don't know what it is. Everyone else gives me stouts and that, and they're fantastically carbonated. Mine, they're just a no go. Alright, here we go. I'll actually be interested to know how much primer should be used in this Cider Meister as well. Because this looks bang on for a stout. There. Right, so this is Pops's Fug was at 60 minutes and 10 minutes, bitterness 40 IBUs, USO5, final gravity 1022. Oh, it says it on here because this is like a really extensive label. Bottle conditioned with half a teaspoon of brown sugar. Now, I don't know whether I'm getting conflicting smells because the cake's so near me, but. Definitely getting a little bit of something what you get in that cake, or the dumpling if you like, keep calling it a cake, off the nose of this. It's almost like that, that richness. Um, the the Clouty dumpling to me is very much like a Christmas pudding. It's, it's kind of got all that kind of the uh, the mixed fruit, the mixed spice, all that kind of rich, nice flavours that would you'd know it would go well with a nice bit of kind of like brandy cream or something like that. It's just fantastic. And this has got that that kind of mixed spice, mixed fruit note on it, I'm sure it has. Or it could just be the cake that's so close by, but I'm going to dive in. Mmm. Now that's good. Firstly, it's a bloody good stout. It's definitely it's got a real depth to it. It's more. Well, I'm sure side of my stuff. Just checking the video out quickly before I came online. The treacle went into the boil pot, but there's definitely a, 
a richness from the treacle, like the, the molasses coming through. It's very kind of, how to describe it, kind of the, the richness you get from that. And you certainly get on the nose that, um, that mixed spice kind of taste. I think that's coming through a lot in that beer. Which I think is quite surprising considering it was it's added I think it was prior to the boil, so and all the mixed fruit went into the, the boil pot as well. You kind of think that might have got lost in the in the boil process, but it's probably added to it very well. Mm. And it's got a real good kind of rich roastiness on the back note to it as well. I tell you what, this is like you know when you get them Christmas beers and they promise to have you know the essence of Christmas and all that this this stout has got that and often those beers are kind of like really underrated they just add a bit of some extra to it but this has got a real mm. that's good right and that's the my clue either as you can see all the yeah like I say for me it's very much like a, a Christmas pudding Still very moist, very nice. It's almost a shame that it takes three and a half hours to cook. It does make me wonder if there's a microwave recipe out there, but would it taste as good? I don't know. I wouldn't change anything to that, I don't think. I think there was some suggestions of adding some of the mixed fruit to secondary. I mean, you could, it probably might enhance it even more, but for me, it's got that, just that right balance that it's there, but it's not overpowering the beer. There's always that, that concern when you start adding all these sort of things to beers, then that you could kind of overthrow the balance of what the beer is about, and before you know it, it's kind of an undrinkable beer. I think like one of the, the kit companies that have come out and bought a wintery type uh, festival, is it beer? Winter, winter spice there or something? It was a bit, hmm. That is exceptional, I've got to admit. It's got a great body, the flavour is fantastic. It is very much like the Clutie Dumpling, it's got all the essence of what's in the Clutie Dumpling within this beer, but we're still retaining the the stout. Mm. Perfect. It is really, really good. Thanks again for Cider Master. I'm sorry it took so long, but I'll, it was worth the wait because I got to taste what a Kluge dumpling tastes like and it does taste fantastic. So I recommend you head over to Cider Master's channel, get his recipe for Kluge dumpling, and also. I'll be getting the recipe for this, the full breakdown, because this could be my uh, my Christmas beer this year. I think this is this is damn good. Cheers.